Hey everybody, this is Airliner Dude 12 and today I'm going to be talking to you about my my new experimental um, Delta Wing. It really resembles the Nighthawk, yeah, but um, and you might resemble this to Dave Powers Nighthawk on rcpowers.com. Great site, by the way, Dave, if you're watching or if you do watch this. Um, I'm using the Wellguard, um, what is this, a GH-22-1206, and, um, yeah, I mean, and not to be punkin' on Dave Powers, but, um, <sighs> that prawn foam is too expensive, I'm sorry, um, $38.00. For 10 sheets of 6 millimeter foam. That's pretty steep. I went to Lowe's and bought some, I don't know if it's blue core or whatever, but it's insulation foam. 30 bucks for 30 sheets. And the sheets are a lot bigger than what they sell on RC foam. And it's a better bargain. You're getting $30 of 30 sheets of foam. And they're very big. I made this out of a half sheet of the foam. And it's, it, it didn't take me but 30 minutes to actually think it out of my head and use it. Um, another tip is to, if you can see this, take a wire clothes hanger, um, cut it in the length all the way to the back here at where the motor goes, and then hot glue it on or epoxy it and, and squeeze these together. And I was at maybe 100 feet in the air. And this thing, um, you can see the motor flipped out, and it actually cut a cert. It cut the servo gun on 12-inch extenders, and it did a nose dive right into the ground. I don't know if you can see that, but when I went to go retrieve it, this was stuck in the ground, and the whole plane. I had to. I just yanked it out of the ground and kept on going. It was pretty cool. I actually fried an ESC that came with this. And I was using a little 7.4 volt battery with it, so it crashed. I don't know what happened. It might be good. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to send my ESC back to the Grayson Hobby people. They're going to send me a free one. Good thing about them, you, know, you have a warranty. Um, yeah, another good thing about this foam is you don't need um, a lot of carbon rods if you're going to uh, most likely make a small jet like this. I mean, the length is 19 inches and the um, wingspan is about 16 inches. It's basically a delta wing. I was going for that, and then I put the detail on it for stability, and it turned out to look like the F417 Nighthawk. And everything is hot glued on, even the motor is hot glued on. I took a screw, and I used some regular styrofoam, and I hot glued the mount on. I screwed it on with a piece of plastic. I hot glued a piece of plastic on the motor mount, screwed it together, hot glued that onto the styrofoam, and kept it on. That thing is rock solid. And I'm using a high tech laser four transmitter with a gigantic receiver. I have a crystal coming on the way for a single conversion. Um, yeah, it's a pretty heavy thing. I also ordered a two cell light polymer battery. 20.8 amps continuous discharge, but on the website it was described as a 3 cell and it came to me and it was a 2 cell. It said 11.3 um, volts, although 11.1 on the um, website description, and I got this 2 cell battery. I didn't want to cause any trouble or turn something back, but mm, it works fine. I get about maybe uh, 3 minutes of full throttle. And this thing will do unlimited vertical. It will go very high. I use zip ties. I cut holes in the plane. And I make them the size where I can just squeeze the battery in. And 
and this is where the ESC went, and I did a nose dive, and that probably on um, Friday. So, it was really hot, and that probably Friday. Yeah, I've got two servos operating on Elevon mode. 